In my parents' 22 years of owning and operating Subway stores, they have never failed a health inspection, but all of this changed about a week ago. It was just another ordinary day at Subway. I had gotten to work about 10 minutes early before the lunch rush, and I could already tell that this was going to be a busy day, but when I walked into the store, I was quickly greeted by somebody that said, hey, I'm the health inspector. And I thought to myself, okay, piece of cake. I mean, it's kind of weird that you came at lunch rush. It's a little busy, but come to the back and let's take care of everything. So in most cases, what a health inspector does is they literally just walk around the store and start doing whatever tests that they need to do. And honestly, we just give them free reign to go ahead and check anything because once again, we have never failed a health inspection. This was like business as usual. But as I was helping customers with my coworker, it seemed like this health inspector had something out to get us. And you guys are like, no, Malad, you're crazy. The health inspector was clearly not out to get you. They're just doing their job like they're supposed to. But wait until I tell you how this all went down. So we had a line of about three customers that we were helping to make sandwiches. And as me and my coworker were making these sandwiches, this health inspector comes directly up to us and was like, I need you to come with me for a minute. And I'm like, well, I, I'm kind of helping customers right now. And it's literally the busiest time that we have at Subway. And this person was just not taking no for an answer. So I was like, okay, let's go. But then as more customers walked in and I was feeling the pressure, I was like, okay, you have to give me a few minutes. I have to go help my customers. So while I was helping a line of customers, this health inspector went around and started looking at our chips. And we had one type of chip that expired the previous day. Like it literally expired the day before this entire thing happened. And we've had this happen before. And obviously we're always going to check our dates and make sure that we're not giving anything expired to the customers. And if we are, we would just remove it literally immediately. But this health inspector started to take the bags of chips in front of all of our customers and literally start tossing them onto the counter. In my mind, I was thinking, what is going on right now? Like, is this allowed? But I didn't want to say anything because I knew that, that would just make this person upset. So I let it go. You know, I, I just kind of just kind of kept making my sandwiches and pretend like nothing happened. was apologizing to the customers. It wasn't a big deal. But then after we get done with the lunch rush, the health inspector comes up to me and shows me a few things. Basically, the two things that were wrong with our store was one, our sanitizer wasn't like a certain pH level or whatever's used to measure how acidic a sanitizer is. I don't know the exact thing, but I was kind of dumbfounded by this because I use a sanitizer every day and I knew for a fact that it didn't fail. And so I went to the back with the health inspector and we literally poured a bucket of sanitizer in and tested it right on the spot and it passed like with flying colors. There was literally nothing wrong with it. And I think that this kind of upset the person because then they go and they say there's no soap or any paper towels in the bathroom. So I'm going to have to fail your store. I asked, how is that fair? I could just go replace the soap right now. And I actually went to do that. And they said, nope, how am I supposed to trust you? And I'm like, I'm just literally going to change it right in front of you. Like it's not a big deal. And then I walk into the bathroom and there's a roll of paper towels right there. And I said, I thought there was no paper towels. And they were like, oh, well, the paper towels can't be sitting out. They have to be inside of the paper towel machine. And I go, clearly my coworker was going to do it, but it's literally a lunch rush. And he probably got interrupted by a customer. And this person was just not having it. So at the end of the day, I said, so we're failing because we didn't have soap in the machine in the bathroom. And they said, yes, this is where employees are required to wash their hands. And then I walk out of the bathroom to the literal hand wash section right behind our counter where we use every single time to wash our hands for a sandwich. And this person was just not having it. So I just said, okay, just send us the report and we'll take care of it. I mean, these are like the easiest fixes in the world. I'm literally going to fix it right now. And then later on, we got the report and this person wrote down the sanitizer failed and there was no paper towels in the bathroom. I didn't even know what to do at this point. So my mom contacted her person at Subway. It's like a regional manager and told him the entire situation. And Subway was actually very forgiving. They were like, I can't believe that this has happened. They don't even do the inspections themselves. They like outsource it to a third party company. And this person knew that we've never failed a health inspection before. So this was one of those moments where we're just kind of like, what is going on? Needless to say, we fixed all the problems in the store and it's completely fine. Like it's always been. I mean, we were told by Subway themselves that we have one of the cleanest stores. So it was just kind of a crazy situation. And you know what would really help me alleviate from that crazy situation? If you like this video and subscribe, have a beautiful day and peace.